most people have these little things in our in our pockets called credit cards, you know, so we can pay for shit wherever we go. We don't necessarily have to carry on, you know, tons and tons of cash with us. And the problem is that these things are not very secure. If they're not secure, then anything that you have for cash that's in your checking account can be hacked. And there are websites out there, not well, so much websites, but they are uh, places out on the chat rooms in the deeper, darker web where people will exchange credit card information that you might have and they will charge up a long bill. Fortunately, just this last Tuesday, they have a new defense system that is going to be put into the cards. It's a special trip that goes in there. And when you go to purchase something at the register, you have to have the credit card there with you. And this will register with the special readers that they have now. This Just this last Tuesday, retailers were expected to have uh, this EMV reading terminal, which will make good in-store purchases. This way, if someone comes up with a counterfeit card and you can get make up phony cards, it's real easy. If it doesn't have, it has that stripe on there and it's like you try to buy something and it doesn't have that special card reader in there, it's going to reject it. Connie, your thoughts? Uh, yeah, they'll still have the ability to read. Most places will still have the ability to read your stripe uh, regular debit credit card. But um, just this last week, I had somebody at my local Fred Meyer say, um, just so you know, on Thursday, we have the little EB, you know, EMV card reader. I'm like, what is that? And uh, sure enough, talking about exactly this thing, she said, well, you know, you'll still be able to swipe your card, but if you have the little chip that this is, you, you scan it at the bottom of the reader. And uh, yeah, and the articles I've been reading about it are really quite interesting because the ma the magnetic stripe has your same number every time, mm -hmm. but the uh, the credit card ch this new chip will basically uh, it's almost like it's encoding it. I mean it it changes it every time and it doesn't directly go to your bank account or right. something. So it is an added level of security, which after. 2013's Target and then Home Depot and then who knows who else. Right. You know, fiascos. Uh, yeah, it's 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 really great. Of course, you know, it's just a matter of time before this is hacked, too. We all kind of know that. Yeah. It, they, they make a better mousetrap. Yeah, um, they, 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 the, the article said that right there. It's like squeezing a water balloon. You can't squeeze it all the way down, but it's going to pop up somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. So being somebody who's been you know was late to the game to embracing paying things online and mm -hmm. whatnot uh i really do enjoy that convenience of mm, just yes swiping my card and being able to put in your pin and whatever uh and and paying that way so i it's it's exciting to see what they've done and by the way the i know when i saw this i thought my old my old uh Christian days when I was worried about the mark of the beast. You know, the beast. A, usually the thing they talk about, yeah, is the microchip is being the micro. You know, I said, no, it's not going to be, you know, any kind of a threat that way. Yeah. You know, I, I when I was a Christian, too, I had this friend. He's, he, we were doing this, the the whole, oh, this, the beast, you're going to have it in your wallet and everything like this. And, he's, and then he goes and gets a gas card. It's like. Oh, you, you've got the beast in your wallet. It's like, no, it's just a gas card. It's like, no, that's the beast. <laughs> <laughs> the preacher's preaching about this and is like, no, that's the beast. You're just like, oh, I guess it is. We'll I'll just use it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's, barcodes, everything. Yeah. Barcodes and everything. Now, the mm -hmm. two mo main ways that hackers can steal your information is that they use credit card skimmers. Uh, on a magnetic stripe at ATMs or gas pumps. Now, we t covered this uh, a few months ago, maybe earlier this year, where they were putting up fake plaques on the old-style outdoor ATMs where you have to put it inside in your card so it unlocks the door. And then they can grab the data and and run with it. And, yep. and But with this new chip, hopefully that if, they even if they get the card number, it won't work anyway. Dave, your yes. thoughts? Yeah, so I uh, I work in a separate side of that business, I suppose. I mean, I uh, I, I work in a business that ninety nine percent of the business that we do is done through credit cards. Yep. And uh, 
I collect those cards. We charge them on a monthly basis uh, based on subscriptions, basically. Mm -hmm. I don't see how this can be applied to my business. And I and well, we've never we have not yet received any notification that we have to update our systems to accommodate this. So I, I was skeptical reading this because I was unaware of it beforehand, having been in a business that we do the vast majority of our business via credit card. Well, it does say that not all businesses are going to adopt this right away. I'm sure this is something that's going to sure, take it, it's going to take a while to roll out. Well, I imagine that's true. Um, I'm, I'm just wondering, like. Like I've not been notified whatsoever. Oh, I'm sure it's in the it's the checks in the mail, Dave. No. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, according to the articles, it says that you know it. I don't think it's mandatory, but if there are, if there's stolen data, then uh, businesses will be liable. Yeah, then then the you'd charges. be. Uh, yeah, I had read that as well in the article. Yeah, it said yeah. it said that if anything was stolen, the business owner would be liable. Yeah. Right. Whatevs, I guess. I mean, I, I work in a small business. We've never had any kind of breach. We only have three different locations, and we're pretty tight in one area. I, I don't suspect there will be any kind of breach of information in the future, you know? Well, there was uh, apparently we're, from... We're small fries. Yeah, well, sometimes the small fries are the easiest target sometimes. Perhaps, but it's not happened yet. And well, I, you've been very fortunate then. Very fortunate. Uh, it says here, despite the impending uh, retailer deadline, many consumers still won't know if the new kinds of uh, won't know, even know about these new kind of cards. In a survey in August, Electronic Payments ACI Worldwide, only 59% of the consumers reported that they hadn't received credit cards with the EMV chip, and only a third of the United States is shifting towards the chip readers. What's more is only 27% of the merchants is prepared for the October deadline for the card reader technology. So you're you're in that percentage yeah, so outside how, that. Yeah. How long is this, long is this going to take to implement? Well, that's uh, apparently from what I understand here the the liabilities are going to be start piling up starting 2017. So yeah, it looks like you have a couple of years to start getting your proper EVI or uh, e, EMV chip. EMV. Yeah, the yeah. EMV chip. Um, card readers so this way you're not on the hook for anything so well good yeah so you got a couple years but uh so start expecting to see when you get your new credit cards in the mail that it may look different it may have a, a chip in it it may have a uh a chocolate chip in it i don't know <laughs> <laughs> Nestle's make the very best emv cards yes 